Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can create your own custom animation presets in Adobe After Effects. Um, so currently in Adobe After Effects you can browse your presets um, and it comes with um, just default ones that just come with the software so if you open it up it goes to the presets folder which you can find in your computer um, but it'll open this up in Adobe Bridge and say if you look at them you can see text um, and there's all different types of ones as well you can go into mechanical say and then if you just click on them just once it'll open it up in this little preview and you can see what it is so if I had a text layer then if I just double clicked that then it'll apply it to that text layer but I currently don't have a text layer so I can't really show you um, so if we just close that but I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own custom ones um, to save and then use whenever you want. So I'm just going to create a new composition. Um, anything will really work. And then I'm just going to create a new text layer just by grabbing the text tool and just clicking. Um, and I'll write it, write text. So now I'm just going to set it to the center. So if I just go to align and then align layers to composition, then I can just go horizontal and vertical. So now that I've got that in, um, what you want to look for is the keyframe. So you just drop that down and then say um, transform, sorry. Um, and then you've got all these keyframes you can play with. And you can also save animation presets for any keyframes, but we'll just be using these ones just to show because they're a lot easier to use. So if I say scale this down, what you might notice is the scale keyframes, uh, the scale sort of what it is right now actually goes down. So what you want to try and avoid is actually scaling it like that if it's text or anything really. You want to always make sure it's on 100% because that'll make it work the best. So if you ever need to scale it, just use the pixels, which is this in the character window. So I'll show you what will happen if it is a lower scale when you save them after I just show you how to do it firstly. So say you grab um, a scale keyframe and say you just um, cancel the proportion null uh, size change um, and we'll just set that to 0%. So now it's going to be sort of um, stretching out horizontally and then we'll set that to a hundred percent. So now we'll just select both of these keyframes and hit F9 just to easy ease them to make them look a bit better. And then if we just select both of these keyframes and then go up to animation and then we can go to save animation preset. So then you can just choose what it is and where it's saved and I'll just name it test. I've already got one there um, but I'll just overwrite that. So now if we just hide this layer and we create a new layer, I'll just write this um, animation. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll make that smaller with the text size instead of the scaling. And then I'll make sure the anchor point is back in the same spot. So if you just hit Y and then you can move the anchor point or you just go up to this little tool up here. And a, uh, a handy little tool is just to hold control while you're doing it and then it'll snap to any sort of um, positions so we'll just snap it to that point that it was on for the first one. So now if we just go into animation and we'll move the uh, time indicator wherever we want the animation to start. So if we want the animation to start there then we'll use it there as we hit animation and um, apply but we'll start it at zero seconds. So you can go animation apply animation preset and then you can look through all of your different folders or if you've used the animation preset recently, you can go into this little tab um, and just choose it from your recent um, animations. So now you can see that's been applied um, and that's looking all 100% good. So now if we just delete that um, and we'll just show this layer, I'll show you what will happen if the scaling is not quite right. So we'll just delete those, um, set that to 100 and then proportional and then just scale it down to say 80%. And then we'll do that same thing, we'll just set that to zero um, and keyframe that. And then we'll set that to 80% to um, open back up. So now if we just select these keyframes and then we'll go animation and then save animation preset as test. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we'll just hide that layer and create another layer and we'll just call it test two. Um, and then we'll just move that anchor point to the right position. And then if we go ahead and um, apply it, go animation recent and then test, what you can see is it actually got smaller. So if I hit control Z, you'll be able to see that it got smaller. 
just from this is what it looks like first and then it went smaller because um, if you see if I apply it again um, if you look at the scaling it's actually back to 80% and it's not going from 100% so that's why you always want to scale it from here instead of using this scaling percentage otherwise when you've created something then you're gonna have to put it back to the scale and sort of change with all the keyframes that you just applied so you can obviously do more than just the scale you can do any keyframes at all so that's any of these categories or any from effects as well or even masking you can um, save as an animation preset so I'll just go ahead and show you how you can use some of the other ones. So we might go opacity as well and set that to 0% at the start. And then that might open up to be 100% as it goes on. And then we might also do position. So it might start off to the right and then it might move to the left as it goes. And then that looks pretty good. So now we'll go ahead and select these, except when you're selecting the keyframes, what you can see is over on this left, we've actually selected the rotation as well. So this could be anything that you've selected that's just in the way. Um, but me selecting this is when I apply the next animation, it's going to set whatever that um, object is that I'm applying it to, the rotation to zero, zero. So obviously you don't want this if you've already set some uh, rotation keyframes. So what you just want to do is select the ones that you want. Um, so just select, say, these ones, and then hold shift as you select the next ones. And now you can see that I haven't selected the rotation. And now if we go animation and then save animation preset, just test. Yes. Um, and now if I just hide that, um, and I'll show you that it can also work on shapes. So if we just create a rectangle here, um, and we'll just set that to the bottom, and then we'll go animation recent test um, we can see that that's going to make it work as well and um, the rotation wasn't set to zero so if we say added some rotation first and then apply it then it'll be completely fine and it won't stuff up those rotation keyframes that I've already set so again this can work with any type of keyframes you have just select them and then go to animation save animation preset um, but you can also use browse presets to find any ones that you've created as well if they're not in recent um, and so that also has the ones that Adobe comes with there's lots of them so if you don't need a custom one I'm sure you can find one that will um, work pretty well that Adobe comes with so thanks for watching this tutorial I really hoped you found it helpful now you're able to create your own animation presets so this is really helpful um, if you're creating something that you need to do multiple multiple times and say especially if it's in a different project then it's a lot easier to sort of move those keyframes over without any hassle and it's just really easy especially if it's something say like you're doing um, often then it's a lot easier to just go animation apply animation preset rather than just copy the keyframes and then paste them over so if you found this tutorial helpful, I really urge you just to hit that like button. It really helps me to know that you've enjoyed the tutorial um, and to keep doing more. Um, so again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.